Fiplica V, Danny Men here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Life. We're here in Switzerland, down at Lucerne, which is now the nicest city on the map by a country mile. I really enjoyed the run in here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it in the, the last episode, but it is time to continue on. Uh, so we are heading for somewhere. Uh, where are we heading for? We're heading for Bern. Bern, and then we're going to cut across to Zurich, and that's where we're heading for today, back to Zurich, and then in the next episode we'll head from Zurich down to Lichtenstein, and then Innersbruck, uh, Innsbruck, and then to Salzburg. That will be the, the plan of action. Uh, we'll probably do... Uh, it's quite a long distance, actually. Maybe Zurich to Lichtenstein. And then, yeah, covering all this is going to take a while. That it is. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. How are you going to do this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure out something. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Today, we're going up here, and then we're going to cut across this way. In fact, what I could do is change this train here to an iron ore train. There is iron ore down there. It seems to be a lot of iron ore down here. And then take it where? Here? No, you just want coal. Where's the smeltery? I passed one. Ah, it's up here. Right, we'll figure something out. We will get, we will get on it. We'll be fine. Right, so let's head down, or let's head up even. Let's head up to Basel. Cut across to, uh, not Basel, uh, up to Bern. Cut across to Zurich. And then we shall head down to Lichtenstein. We might actually go to Lichtenstein today. We could maybe cut through and not go to to Zurich. Possibly, maybe. We'll see. Right, let's get the train up to E. Uh, because I'm now adding extra length onto the train journey. No, no, no. We are going to stop at Zurich today. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to take a new train down to Lichtenstein. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. It is. Okay, so we're heading up to 80 kilometers per hour. We are gonna be leaving Lucerne soon. We have passengers on board. Uh, the passengers that left Basel to go to Bern are completely chocked and they are now something like 14 15 hours late due to the way that the game schedules time uh, time is calculated over distance and not length of actual route or net schedule route so that's something that still needs to be uh, touched on again i have not fixed my ai drivers so there are a lot of them are sitting around doing nothing it's okay though, we've got 7 million quid in the bank. We have the new train, the new AG. We might actually change, possibly, I will see, right? We'll see how the situation looks in uh, Zurich. If the warehouse stations on the route, there's an obstacle on the track ahead. Right, we had this before. Uh, now it's snow on track. Now I'm kind of tempted, right, to figure out if uh, hitting the snow at speed derails the train. The last time we actually slowed down. So we slowed down for the snow on the track. Uh, we sort of bumped in it at like two miles per hour. Uh, okay, so the snow on the track is back the way we came. So it looks like that snow on the track like permanently spawns there. It looks like that is a thing. Looks like there's permanent spawn points for snow on track. Okay, got it. 
duly noted. I've not seen any Bombies. There are no Bombies in Switzerland for some reason. There are in all the other parts of Europe. Uh, quite a large Bombie population, but there doesn't seem to be any in Zurich. Uh, sorry, in Switzerland. Right, let's head out. We are heading, or should be heading soon, back up north. There we go. The mountains and stuff look really nice. There is a church up on the hilltop there. That's kind of cool. Uh, there is a ruined castle there as well. There are a lot of AI vehicles on the road. Golfs, Mercedes, Alfa Romeros. Uh, you can definitely tell the manufacturers from the, <laughs> the shape and style, the body of the car. Right, so we're heading around past this bin. I think this could be a good time. Oh, it's my window wipers. I don't need them, because we've not... Okay, so there's fast and then there's slow. Right, let's slow down. This is going to come down to 100. We are under 100. Uh, I want to jump out and I want to have a look around here. That's nice. Yeah, so there's the ruined castle. A little farm there church up there there is Lucerne in the background and uh, now this is telling me that I need to stay on the right so stay on the right for this switch and then we can move over to the left right head left there we go Uh, oh, Monsieur De Vos is still making decent cash. Well done there, my friend. <laughs> he was our first ever employee train driver. Uh, not going to lie, when he started out, he was pretty green. Uh, he was actually useless. He was terrible. Uh, I think it took many, many runs before he actually made money. Uh, but now he's one of our top employees. He's become a veteran train driver, even though he's already about 90 years old, so... Old dogs can learn new tricks. Uh, so this has come down to 110. We're sort of just cruising around at about 94. And uh, we'll maybe pick up speed just a little bit. Yeah, this little village is nice. There we go, we've got the church in there. Sort of warehouse with car park. More AI traffic on the roads. And next speed limit is 80. Well, that's, that's possibly bad. Uh, it's slowing down. It does decelerate on its own quite quickly. There we go. Bring the power back in. Keep it at 80. Hey, well, if we we're we we're doing 80 kilometers per hour, which is not massively fast, but we're still going faster than the traffic. So, train is still a faster way to go. <laughs> oh, and they're going up this crazy hill here. Goodbye, AI traffic. Right, so, quite a winding section of track this it looks like not as fast as it was in the way down south from Zurich to Lucerne that was a decently fast section of track now we're sort of twisting through the valleys here which is nice I am liking the snow but I've not seen actual falling snow yet Although I do not know if falling snow is an actual thing that has been implemented into the game. We should get rain at some point. Now I'm kind of thinking if the rest of Europe is all this nice greenery. It would be nice to see rain in those areas. But I am kind of wondering if rain might be specific to a certain part of the map. I.e. I think it might start raining once we enter Austria. Uh, it would be kind of weird if that was the case. Uh, it would be very strange. 
if rain was specific to a certain country on the map. But we'll see, because we are going to be heading into Austria fairly shortly. Right, let's bump the speed back up to 120. Yep, all the, the render distance there. <laughs> Everything popping in at once. Right, let's get me up to 120. Uh, next speed limit is 100. Where? This is nice though, I like this. See, if they've got the, the snow and stuff like this, then they could possibly add places like Finland, Sweden, Norway. Watch out, an approaching train has been spotted. Oh dear God. And uh, the switch is right here. Uh, they're both blue. If they're both blue, that means there's possibly another switch ahead that we can... You've been found. Entered an occupied section of track. Ah, you, you it said it was blue. It literally said that I could pass into this. Oh, it's on my side of the track as well. You've got to be kidding. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Now, if you went into the... Okay, uh, right. Get rid of that. Reverser. Now, I don't think I can be fully blamed for that. Uh, okay, we're reversing. Reversing down the main line. That's, that's always a fantastic idea. Uh, we had no choice. Right, so the switch is there. Has he started moving yet? He has. Uh, I would have liked him to stay in the same place. I think what's going to happen here is he is going to cross over onto the other side. Right, where the hell is the end of the switch? Back here. Okay, now it changes to red. I think, right? I could be wrong. But this was literally a matter of who crossed into the block first. And I don't imagine the AI would slam on their brakes. I mean, this guy is flying. Right, thanks, dude. Thanks for uh, screwing up our journey here. <laughs> Right, now I can go. Uh, stick to the right hand side, please. Yeah, I would imagine, because it was, both of these were blue. We saw that as we entered it. Now it's turned to red because I have entered this block. Now I think this may have been a case of whoever crosses into the block first gets right away. But because the AI <clears throat> are probably not gonna break and stop suddenly, he then crossed into the block uh, or possibly we both crossed into the block at the same time or he literally crossed in uh, as we were crossing in or something I don't really know Okay, we can continue on our journey again, though, all is well. We want to stick to the right-hand side. And here we go. It's nice and bright. It's super bright in the daylight with the snow. Uh, I was imagining, I bet you a bunch of trees are going to pop in right here. <laughs> right, am I even close? And uh, Baron Main. Baron Main is is on the radio there. So we are getting close to Bern. And then we need to head off to the other side. Uh, all the way across to Zurich. That's where we're going. I was trying to remember where we're going. 
And then in the next episode, we will head down to Lichtenstein. What is that? That's Bern. That's the city of Bern. Is there. Okay. So we are pretty close. Right. Three. Uh, request access. Passenger boarding. Proceed to station. Excellent. Uh, 80 miles per hour. Next speed limit. So that's going to be approaching shortly. This is nice. I like this. It's uh, each city. I suppose maybe because it's daylight. This possibly might look like Zurich during the the day. Uh, during the night. There's a large building or buildings there. Oh, there's a stadium in the distance. That's cool. Uh, right. Consider changing tasks. Don't worry, uh, Antoine. We'll get you changed up onto something else. Just not yet. <laughs> Passenger boarding. I'm interested to see. Yeah, there's the stadium. Uh, does Bern have a famous football ground? Football stadium? Not really. <laughs> that, that I've heard of. Maybe there is. Right, so right here. No, 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 no. I want to be going left. Okay, past the switch and then off to the left. Right, there we go. Perfect. It is definitely, it is a stadium, right? I'm not just going crazy. Ferris wheel. Other next Ferris wheel. Right, so we're sort of cruising in 82. That's fine. Baron Station, know that we are approaching. Uh, no sign of any AI trains, which is nice. And then off we go. This is nice. I actually do want to see what's over these walls. <laughs> There's so much sound barrier though, it just obscures the view of like all the city assets and stuff. You have to go into this third person mode to sort of see over the top. Now, is that another train line down there? There's a stadium. I think that is a canal, or a road. Yeah, it's a canal, <clears throat> or a river, even. Oh, face forward, please. Okay, so Bern Main is there. Uh, we're about to hit that 50. Let's drop the speed. Uh, give me 20 on a break in. Uh, that's pretty much fine. There we go. Right, continuing on. Uh, why is it telling me that I can go right here? It's to the right. The depot is to the right, but I don't want to go in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are we going? We're heading right. Move it past these dwarf signals, go left, go right. That's a super strange station entrance there. <laughs> that really threw me off. But we made it, we're in in one piece. Okay, we are in in one piece. Uh, Yossip needs a new task as well. I think every single one of my drivers Possibly needs a new task at this point. <clears throat> now this is the end. This is the end of this journey. It's not the end of this episode, but it's the end of this uh, route that we created. We'll create another little route. We'll go from uh, Bern to Zurich, and we'll cut across. 
Right, slow down, please. Uh, brakes off, handbrake on, there we go. Begin passenger debarkation. Uh, I need to see where my next route is going to go. Right, so that goes to the warehouse. So we want to come up this way, along here and into there. That is where we want to go. Right, so departing passengers. Uh, we're not going to be boarding any passengers. Let's push V. Uh, I may actually, right? Uh, yeah, one and two. Time taking eight to 14 hours. Okay, close. These were the people from Zurich to Bern, okay? And Lucerne to Bern should still actually be okay. Yeah, expected time 6 hours 44. So we made that in time. Close all. Excellent. Right, now I want to go into the map. I want to go to Route Planner. I want to go to Bern Main. And I want to go to Zurich. I want to apply to GPS. Okay, the existing route has been figured. A. E. One. Quest station access. Passenger boarding. Can I board passengers here? <laughs> it's the same platform. Excellent. I was hoping it would be. Uh, yep, the GPS has now changed. And we're good to go. Right, that's actually awesome. That is actually awesome. I thought we were going to have to exit the station and come back in. I was wondering if it was going to throw us on a, a different platform. But we're actually good to go. Right, so let's head out. Doors are closed. Bern Main rejected your request. You need to ask before entering the station. But you gave me passengers, right? Company, my train. Oh yeah, I've got 20 people who want to go to Zurich. Good for them. This train's a little long. It's a little excessive for this journey. But it's okay. It's fine. Let's go. So, heading out, and then we're cutting across to, to Zurich. Again, this is still will be unexplored areas of the map. Because we've not been here yet. Uh, right, so I'm heading off on the right hand side. That is all good. And we shall continue on. Bern main entrance. Right, staying on the right. I think I need to go left. I'm sure I need to go left. Please don't send me the wrong way. Watch out, there's an obstacle on the track. Really? Okay. Oh yeah, so there is a switch. So past this switch, yeah, head left. I'm gonna pick up speed. Uh, now what will happen here is the train will reset. I can't remember if it resets so sets at the area where the train derails or if it resets back at the the last platform you left or the nearest sort of industry etc uh, the nearest station even I'm gonna hit this at I'm assuming we'll still be doing 80 because we're still within the, the city of Bern I'm gonna hit this at speed because I am interested to see what is gonna <laughs> That's going to happen. <laughs> right, it's 900 meters away. Next speed limit is 120. I wonder if 80 is an acceptable speed to hit something. To hit a snowdrift. Uh, we're about to find out. I wonder if these as well, these warnings, only pop up if the obstacle is on your side of the tracks. Right, hold on. 
Now, if we had actual derail animation and not just the black screen, that would be pretty cool. Right, here we go. Blech. What happened? Nothing happened. We're fine. Right, I believe you can hit that at literally any speed and you'll be okay. <laughs> Fear of derailment has passed. Right, jump back in. And we're going up to 120 here. That is where the other side of the track joins. You are speeding. I am speeding. Uh, I thought we'd have passed through the 120 section by now. Perhaps not. This looks like a nice bridge. There's the 120 section. If I can hit this before getting fined, that would be nice. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it is the 120 section. We're good. Right, stay on the right-hand side, and now we are heading east towards Zurich. Well, we'll end the episode there, and then we in the next episode we'll head down to Lichtenstein, uh, Innsbruck, and then Salzburg. We'll try and get them all in a one -er. I don't know how long that is going to take. Uh, probably over an hour. I wonder, is this a fast section of track as well? Ooh, the snow, uh, the snow embankment there is quite close to the edge of the tracks. Uh, next speed limit is 90. Uh oh. I think it's 90 for this, like, kink, this bend in the track here. Now it's down to 110. Next speed limit is 80. Really? Okay, so uh, we're, we're coming down 80. So that should be fine. I was kind of, kind of expecting to see an AI train here. Uh, speed limit is 100. Okay, I'll take 100. <clears throat> Let's get it up to 100. Right, so we're, uh, we're getting a save there because we're passing a station. Next speed limit is going to be 120 again. Yeah, we'll let the speed creep up there. I want another obstacle to appear on the track and I want to hit, hit the obstacle at full speed. I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Watch out, there's an obstacle on the track ahead. Okay. Right, so we hit it at like 5 miles per hour. The obstacle disappeared. It did no damage to the train. We hit it at 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, did no damage to, to, to the train and it disappeared now we're about to hit to about 115 and uh, next speed limit is 90 I like the little village there the houses on the hillside etc oh crap oh crap slow down there we go we're good there's the 90. There's the snow drift. Dink. Boy, it looks so different when you're in the cab. Yeah, I think if you hit that at full speed, it'll derail the train. I have a feeling. But these, the last two that we just hit there, were within a... Uh, Slower, uh, slower track speed zones. So we'll have to see. We'll have to keep an eye out for another one. I think hitting it at full speed is going to derail the train. Right, back up to 120. I will take that. Oh no. And then back down to 90. Okay, short lived. Short lived. There we go. 
Round we go. What is that? Oh. Uh, level crossing. And then I think if you hit it just as you pass the sign. Yeah, you don't seem to get fined as badly as you used to get for uh, not sounding the horn for going through a level crossing. We did sound the horn, but previously you would sound it at the exact place you were supposed to use it and you would still get fined. Uh, next speed limit is going to be 120. Okay. And then down to 110. That's fine. We won't even hit 110 by the time we reach this. So we're good. There's a 110. Next speed limit's going to be 120. I see industrial smokestack in the distance. Uh, Rita Warner, uh, she also needs a job. Well, she has a job. She needs a task. Cars passing over the bridge there. Uh, next speed limit is 100. Okay, and we are speeding at 120. No, it's 120. If I'm if I'm going if I'm going straight ahead, it's still 120. Uh, we do need to blast the old air horns there, or here, or right there, right there. There we go. <clears throat> I like this viaduct in the background as well, it's kind of nice. Uh, Zurich power plant, okay, so we are approaching Zurich. Yeah, see the clouds up there over the mountains? That looks better, sort of way better. Right, so heading round. Let's get up to speed. Uh, next speed level is 120, so it looks like we've got a decent run. Uh, pop up this. Zurich Warehouse and Zurich Power Plant are available, but Zurich Main is not. That's okay. It's hard to tell, because there's no north, south, east, west. Oh, God. Right, I'm not going to be able to stop before this switch here. No way. They're both red. Okay, that's bad. We could apply emergency brake. Damages the train there quite significantly doing that. Now, if I know prior, right? So this train is on left-hand side. Which means I can go. I'll get fined for entering this block. But I could have went there and continued on the right hand side. He would have passed on the left. Everything would have been fine. So they still need to work on these, uh, these signals. Now he is flying down the track here. I don't suspect he's going to cross over to my side. Nope. That's fine though, once this train passes through the block, we can go, there we go, and we are off once more. And there he is, off on his way to torture some other rail user. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up speed, sharply. About 100% power. Awesome. Sophia de Mew is still uh, delivering stuff. Okay, bleed off the speed. Uh, next speed limit is 110. Uh, use horn. A 
Okay, that's good. <laughs> we made that. Casper Hendricks is still delivering stuff as well. Uh, we're back up. Let's get us back up to 110. Uh, Zurich Main. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lost contact with Bern Main. I don't know why that keeps coming up. I'm not really interested in Bern Main anymore. That's not where we're heading. Uh, stick to the right hand side. It looks like we may be approaching Zurich city limits. Next speed limit is going to be 80. Uh, 120 for going straight on, so that's fine. Yeah, the, the query nearby stations, the radio, is sort of flicking through some, some things that were passing. But no sign of Zurich main yet. Uh, what's the next speed limit? 120, we're good. That's fine. Keep going. I, I, I remember this section of track. Although I only, I, I've basically recorded this episode and the last episode back to back. So it's not actually been that long since I passed here. <laughs> this is basically where the, the snow begins. Oh, make sound the horn. There's no, oh, there is traffic here. Uh, could possibly be the two, the same two red cars that were there the last time. Right, so heading through here. Uh, Pierre de Vos. <laughs> Peter de Vos is, I'm sure de Vos is on a roll today. Right, so we're heading off the right hand side. Speed limit is still 120. I see Zurich. And we're here. Right, we've seen Zurich at night and during the daytime, which is pretty cool. Lower your speed. Holy crap. I did not notice that. <laughs> We're still heading off to the right. So it's like a it's like a random dead section of track. So it's like a, a dead end siding over there. Now there are these crossovers. See these? These flyovers? And I am intrigued to know where they go. Right, so the dead end section of track is there. Ah, okay, so you can't actually get on to these sections of a track and go over the flyovers and unless they're going to add a diamond in here to connect these together and then these tracks would possibly go somewhere else. I don't think so though. I think they're just there for show. That's a shame. Let's get my hopes up. Right, so passing under the flyovers at Zurich, we should be, yeah, we are, we are in range now. Request access, yes, passenger boarding. I love the fact that just requesting access now also gives you passenger boarding ability. That's good. Right, so heading down here, I can't actually see the station yet. It's nice. We're just we're taking in the taking in the ambiance of uh, <laughs> Zurich. Is that tallest building in game? Could be. Uh, right, I'm heading right. Wait, what's down there? What is down that tunnel? I can I can get onto that tunnel, right? Where am I? <laughs> I'm so lost. There's a lot of stuff happening as you come in at Zurich. Yeah, I could have. Can I have branched off and going on at those tracks? Maybe, possibly. Right, I see the station now. 
the question is I don't see my platform right let's cut the power let's slow down a touch I think this now right actually tells you uh, which direction right or left when coming to a switch that you need to be on for hitting your platform before passing through those dwarf signals I think uh, we're going left I like the little addition here of the little platform signs there, 9, 10, etc. Uh, I just managed to hit that switch on time. And here we go, Zurich. Final destination for this episode. Excellent. Now the reason I recorded these two episodes back to back is because I'm still unsure if Exiting the game while halfway through a route reloads the train back onto where you left. I think it respawns it at a, at a warehouse. Uh, I don't know if it still retains the information of the passengers that are on board and how long they have been on board. Same with freight, etc. I would imagine freight would be okay, but possibly mail might still get affected. Uh, because what happened previously, if you did half a run of a route that you had created and exited the game and reloaded back in. When you went to deliver the goods or the mail or the passengers to the next stop, uh, the game, you wouldn't be able to do it because it wouldn't remember that you still had stuff on board, <laughs> uh, which was kind of weird. Uh, opening doors, departing passengers. Push V to close the doors. There's our train. And there we go. Passenger transportation completed 17,343 XP. Expected time was 8 hours and 21. We did it in 6 hours and 46. Awesome. And let's close all. Right, that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Min, this has been Train Life, and I will catch us later.